Today is the feast day of St. Pius V, who was Pope in the 16th century when Europeans could not sail on the Mediterranean Sea. Turkish pirates and naval forces who prevented shipping and also Christian pilgrims from going to the Holy Land and even attacked islands in the mainland. And that's where Pope Pius V comes in. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki. The saint we celebrate today got together a coalition of Christian forces and they met the Turkish forces in the famous Battle of Lepanto. While the navies were engaged in battle, the Pope asked the Christians of Europe to pray the rosary, asking Mary, under her title of Mary, Help of Christians, to intercede. The Christian navy won a resounding victory, and Pope Pius, in gratitude, instituted the Feast of Our Lady of Victory, now known as Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. The Church still very much needs Our Lady's help, as it does battle with new enemies today. Let's pray the following prayer to Mary, help of Christians. Virgin most powerful, loving helper of the Christian people, what great thanks we owe you for the assistance you gave our ancestors, who when they were threatened by the Turkish navy, invoked your maternal help by the devout recitation of your rosary. From heaven you saw their deadly peril, you heard their voices imploring your compassion and their humble prayers enjoined by the great Pope St. Pius V were acceptable to you. You came to quickly to deliver them. Grant, dear mother, that in like manner the prolonged sighs of the Holy Bride of Christ in these our days may come to your throne and engage your pity. Rise then, O Mary, incline yourself to hear the prayers of the whole Catholic world. Let it be seen once more that when you arise to protect the church, your victory is sure. Amen.